Have you ever paused to ask yourself, where is there this seemingly simple question holds profound implications for how we live our lives? We often talk about getting there, achieving our goals, and reaching our destinations. We chase after promotions, material possessions, and personal milestones, always with the idea that once we get there, we will find satisfaction and fulfillment. But what exactly is this there that we seek? Where do we want to go? And what do we hope to find upon arrival? The reality is very few people have a precise, disciplined sense of what they truly want. Instead, most of us have feeding desires or vague goals shaped by societal expectations, family pressures, or our own insecurities. Even those who achieve their goals often discover that the anticipated fulfillment is short-lived. They may find a temporary sense of accomplishment, but soon enough, a new desire emerges and the cycle begins anew. This brings us to an essential insight the things we often desire are not what we truly want. Our real desires are more profound, more elusive. The material and superficial achievements we chase are but shadows of deeper yearnings for connection, meaning fulfillment and love. We might think we want a new job, a new relationship, a better house, or higher status. But when we attain these things, we often find that they don't bring the lasting happiness we expected. Instead, they leave us feeling empty, prompting us to question our desires and goals. Many of us are caught in a perpetual rush, always striving for progress, always chasing after the next source of pleasure. We are conditioned to believe that happiness lies just beyond the horizon in some future achievement or acquisition. But let us pause and ask, what is this progress we are so tirelessly pursuing? Where are we rushing to? What are we hoping to find when we get there? The truth is, progress for many is an illusion. As G.K. Chesterton wittily remarked, progress is looking for a place to stop. We often set goals and work diligently to achieve them, thinking that once we arrive, we will finally be happy. Yet, how often have we reached these milestones only to find ourselves still wanting, still searching? It seems that the moment we achieve one goal, another takes its place, perpetuating an endless cycle of desire and dissatisfaction. This raises an important question, do we really know what we want? Many of us have only a vague idea of what would bring us true happiness. We are influenced by societal norms, advertising, and the expectations of those around us. We think we want certain things because we have been told they will make us happy. However, when we finally attain these things, we often find they are not what we truly desired. The new car, the promotion, the bigger house, these are fleeting pleasures that quickly lose their luster. The saying, be careful of what you desire, you may get it is more profound than it appears. Achieving our desires often reveals that they were not our true desires after all. The joy we expected is short-lived, but we are left with a sense of emptiness, wondering why we are not satisfied. This is because our desires are often misplaced. We seek external validation and material possessions, thinking they will fill the void within us, but true fulfillment cannot be found outside ourselves. To understand what we truly want, we must look within, we must strip away the layers of societal conditioning and false desires to uncover our deepest yearnings. What we seek is not found in possessions or status, but in experiences and states of being. We crave connection, love, purpose, and meaning. These are the things that bring lasting fulfillment and joy, yet they cannot be bought or achieved through external means. Our relentless pursuit of progress and pleasure, we often overlook the present moment. We are so focused on the future, on what we hope to achieve or acquire, that we fail to appreciate the beauty and richness of the now. The present moment is all we truly have, yet it is the very thing we neglect in our rush to get there. To live with passion and purpose, we must learn to let go of the past. The past often clings to us like a shadow, shaping our present actions and decisions. It is laden with memories, regrets, 
and old patterns of behavior that can weigh us down and prevent us from fully experiencing the present moment. But what happens when we release this burden? When we forget the past, we are liberated to live freely and authentically in the now. Imagine the gate of heaven, not adorned with decorative pearls, but as a single pearl with a hole through it. To pass through this gate, we must shed the baggage of our past. We cannot carry with us our old stories, our failures, our failures, our traumas, or even our accomplishments. We must leave behind everything that defines us by our past experiences. This is not about denial or repression, but about understanding that the past does not have to dictate our present or future. The past, in essence, is an illusion. It exists only in our memories and reflections. As we drive through life, it's as if we are constantly looking in the rearview mirror, letting past experiences guide our journey. But true freedom lies in recognizing that we are not being pushed by the past. We are creating our present moment from a deeper, more mysterious source within us. This source is ever present, ever new, and always available. Letting go of the past means letting go of the stories we tell ourselves about who we are. It means freeing ourselves from the labels and limitations we have accumulated over the years. We often say, I am this way because of my upbringing, or I can't do that because of what happened to me. But these are just narratives we construct, not immutable truths. Consider the serpent that moves forward by constantly shedding its skin. It is not burdened by its previous forms, but continually renews itself. Likewise, we must be willing to shed our old identities and embrace the fluidity of life. This does not mean forgetting our lessons or experiences, but rather not letting them define us. To live with passion and purpose, we must shift our focus from the past to the present. The present moment is the only reality we truly have, yet it is often the most neglected aspect of our lives. We are so preoccupied with memories of the past and anxieties about the future that we fail to experience the richness and fullness of the now. But what if we could fully embrace the present moment? What if we could see it as the very creation of the universe unfolding before our eyes? The present moment is where life happens. It is not a fleeting point between the past and the future, but a continuous unfolding of existence. When we focus on the present, we tap into the profound mystery of being alive. We begin to see that every moment is a new beginning a fresh opportunity to experience life with wonder and awe. Living in the present means letting go of the need to analyze and categorize everything. We often try to understand life by breaking it down into components, labeling and classifying it. We say, this is an animal, this is a plant, this is a mineral, and so on. But these labels can distance us from the direct experience of life. Instead of seeing the world through the filter of our concepts and judgments, we can open ourselves to the raw, unfiltered reality of the present moment. When we embrace the present, we stop trying to control and predict the future. We realize that the future is a projection of our current thoughts and feelings. By focusing on the now, we create a foundation for a future that aligns with our true desires and passions. We become co-creators of our reality, shaping it with our presence and intention. Living in the present also means being fully aware of our senses and surroundings. It means listening to the sounds around us, feeling the textures, smelling the scents, tasting the flavors, and seeing the colors and shapes. This heightened awareness brings us into a state of mindfulness where we are fully engaged with life, we become more attuned to the subtle nuances of our experiences and more appreciative of the beauty and complexity of the world. Embracing the present moment allows us to connect more deeply with ourselves and others. When we are fully present, we listen more attentively, speak more authentically, and relate more genuinely. Our interactions become richer and more meaningful because we are not distracted by our thoughts about the past or future. 
We are here now, experiencing life in its entirety. By living in the present, we discover that true passion and purpose arise from our direct engagement with life. We find joy in the simple act of being, in the wonder of existence itself. This is not to say that we abandon our goals or dreams, but that we pursue them with a sense of presence and awareness. We understand that the journey is as important as the destination, and we find fulfillment in each step along the way. In embracing the present moment, we awaken to the truth that life is not something that happens to us, but something we actively participate in. We become creators of our own experience, living with passion and purpose in every moment. The Brazilian soccer team gliding across the field with effortless grace. Their movements are not constrained by rigid rules or strict forms they are dancing, flowing with the game. The ball is not merely an object to be controlled, but an extension of their bodies seamlessly integrated into their rhythm. They bounce it off almost any part of their body's shoulders, hips, backs, heads each touch, precise and intentional, yet spontaneous and joyful. This is not the way we are taught to play in school, where structure and efficiency often overshadow creativity and freedom. But what if we approached life as these players approach soccer, not as a series of mechanical steps, but as a spontaneous, joyous dance? We are conditioned from an early age to take life seriously. We learn that important tasks must be approached with a stern face and a heavy heart, and that efficiency and productivity are the highest virtues. This mindset infiltrates every aspect of our lives, from work to relationships to personal growth. We become focused on outcomes, on getting from point A to point B as quickly and effectively as possible. But in this pursuit, we often lose sight of the beauty of the journey itself, the simple pleasure of being alive and engaged in the present moment. The Brazilian soccer team's approach challenges this notion. Their game is a celebration, a testament to the joy of movement and collaboration. They remind us that life is not just about reaching goals or achieving success, but about experiencing each moment fully and joyfully. This perspective invites us to reconsider how we approach our daily lives. What if we allowed ourselves to move fluidly through life, responding to its rhythms with grace and joy? What if we embraced each task, no matter how mundane, as an opportunity to express our creativity and passion? In our modern world, work is often viewed as a necessary burden, something we must endure to earn a living. The notion of singing while counting money at a bank or dancing while driving a bus through city traffic seems almost absurd. Yet, this playful approach to everyday tasks holds a profound truth the way we approach our work and daily activities can transform our experience of life itself. Imagine a bank teller singing while counting out the money. It might seem whimsical or even unprofessional, but why should it be so? This simple act of joy could turn a mundane task into a celebration of life. Similarly, envision a bus driver navigating city streets, not with frustration and anger, but with a sense of rhythm and grace, skillfully dodging traffic and engaging with passengers and fellow drivers in playful, light-hearted exchanges. This perspective shifts the focus from merely reaching the destination to enjoying the journey itself. We have been taught that work must be serious, efficient, and devoid of pleasure. This mindset is deeply ingrained in our culture, where productivity is often valued above all stock. This approach can lead to a sense of drudgery and disconnect from the present moment. By contrast, when we bring a sense of play and joy into our tasks, we not only enhance our own experience, but also positively influence those around us. This idea is not about shirking responsibilities or ignoring the importance of quality work. It is about infusing our actions with a sense of presence and joy, recognizing that the process is just as important as the outcome. When we approach tasks with a playful spirit, we tap into a deeper well of creativity and energy. 
our actions become more fluid and natural, and we are more likely to find innovative solutions and experience greater satisfaction in our work. In the pursuit of efficiency and productivity, we often overlook the profound wisdom inherent in approaching life as a dance. Consider the metaphor of the bus driver navigating city streets. Instead of viewing the journey as a race against time, imagine approaching it with a sense of playfulness and spontaneity. The bus becomes a vessel not just for transportation, but for connection and interaction with passengers and fellow travelers. Each traffic light becomes an opportunity to pause, to breathe, and to engage with the present moment. This perspective challenges the notion that work must be serious and devoid of pleasure. It invites us to reconsider how we define success and fulfillment in our lives. What if instead of measuring our worth by the outcomes we achieve, we focused on the quality of our experiences and connections? What if we allowed ourselves to be fully present in each moment, embracing the beauty and complexity of life as it unfolds? The concept of dancing through life extends beyond individual actions to encompass our broader perspective on existence. It encourages us to see the interconnectedness of all things and to recognize the inherent joy in simply being alive. This perspective is not about denying the challenges and responsibilities we face, but about approaching them with grace and resilience, knowing that every moment offers an opportunity for growth and discovery. The importance of harmony, balance, and interconnectedness. These traditions teach us that life is not a series of isolated events, but a continuous dance of existence, where each step and movement contributes to the greater whole. When we embrace this perspective, we cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that our actions are meaningful and interconnected with the larger tapestry of life. In our journey to understand life's deeper meaning, we often overlook the profound wisdom that lies in embracing playfulness and spontaneity. Imagine the joy of a child at play, fully immersed in the moment, uninhibited by concerns of past or future. This state of playful presence is not just reserved for children, it holds a profound lesson for adults seeking fulfillment and purpose in their lives. The concept of Wu Wu Wai in Taoist philosophy, which can be translated as effortless action or non-doing this principle, suggests that true mastery and effectiveness arise not from forceful effort or striving, but from a striving, but from a state of relaxed spontaneity and naturalness. It is about aligning oneself with the rhythms of life and allowing actions to flow effortlessly from a place of inner harmony. When we approach life with a playful mindset, we tap into this natural state of Wu Wei. Tasks that once seemed burdensome or tedious become opportunities for creativity and expression. Just as the Brazilian soccer team danced their way to victory, we can infuse our daily actions with a sense of joy and spontaneity, transforming mundane tasks into meaningful experiences. Consider the example of the shoe shiner in the New York subway, whose performance transcends the act of shining shoes to become a form of art and expression. This person has embraced their task with passion and creativity, turning it into a source of joy and connection with others. Similarly, in our own lives, we can find ways to approach our work and daily responsibilities with a sense of playfulness and creativity. In our modern society, we often find ourselves caught in the grip of stress and survival mode. We are constantly scanning our environment for threats and anticipating negative outcomes, which keeps us in a perpetual state of alertness and tension. This reactive mode of living disconnects us from the natural flow of life and diminishes our ability to experience true joy and fulfillment. The transformative potential of embracing vulnerability and opening ourselves to the flow of life. He emphasized the importance of moving beyond the protective shield of fear and survival instincts to reconnect with our innate sense of joy and wonder. This shift requires us to release the grip of fear and resistance 
and to embrace a more open and receptive attitude towards life. Imagine a bus driver navigating city streets not with frustration and anger, but with a sense of grace and playfulness. Instead of viewing traffic jams as obstacles to be overcome, they see them as opportunities to connect with passengers and fellow drivers, sharing jokes and light-hearted moments. This perspective shifts the focus from mere survival to enjoying the journey itself, regardless of external circumstances. We can learn to embrace vulnerability and openness as pathways to deeper connection and fulfillment. This means letting go of the need to control every outcome and instead surrendering to the natural flow of life. When we release our resistance and allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we create space for joy, creativity, and authentic expression to emerge. The analogy of the river to illustrate this concept. He described life as a flowing river, constantly changing and evolving. When we resist the current of life, we create tension and struggle. But when we surrender to the flow, we experience a sense of ease and alignment with the natural rhythms of existence. The practice of meditation can be a powerful tool for cultivating this sense of openness and receptivity. By quieting the mind and tuning into the present moment, we can release the grip of fear and resistance and reconnect with our inner sense of peace and joy. Meditation allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without attachment, creating space for new insights and perspectives to arise. Let us embark on a journey to uncover the essence of living with passion and purpose. This quest is not merely a search for fulfillment, but a deeper exploration into the very nature of our existence. Often, when we speak of passion and purpose, we are confronted with a duality and inner conflict between what we aspire to be and what we perceive ourselves to be. This fundamental assumption, he challenges us to consider whether this split thinking where we imagine a higher self striving to control a lower self is necessary or even real. In many spiritual traditions, including theosophy and Zen, this duality is seen as an illusion. The idea of a higher self and a lower self sets up a perpetual struggle within us, where we are forever wrestling with our desires, fears, and aspirations. Zen philosophy offers a profound insight into this dilemma. It teaches us that true wisdom lies in transcending this dualistic perspective. In Zen, there is no inherent separation between a higher self and a lower self. There is only the self, undivided and whole. When we cling to the belief in a higher self, we inadvertently reinforce the existence of a lower self that needs to be overcome or controlled. Living with passion and purpose then becomes a journey of integration rather than conflict. It is about embracing all aspects of ourselves, the light and the shadow, the joy and the sorrow as essential parts of the human experience. Watts invites us to see life not as a battlefield where we must conquer our inner demons, but as a dance where we learn to move gracefully with the ebb and flow of existence. In our exploration of living with passion and purpose, we confront a pervasive illusion, the belief in a divided self, where a higher self contends with a lower self. This concept, prevalent in many spiritual and philosophical traditions, suggests that our spiritual aspirations are at odds with our earthly desires. Reconsider this dualistic perspective, urging us to question whether such divisions truly exist or if they are constructs of our own minds. Theosophists speak of two selves, the higher self, which is viewed as spiritual and virtuous, and the lower self, often associated with ego and base instincts. This dichotomy sets the stage for an internal struggle where we strive to elevate the higher self while suppressing or overcoming the lower self. A different view influenced by Zen philosophy, a view that transcends the dualistic framework altogether. In Zen, the concept of a higher self and lower self is not emphasized. Instead, Zen teaches us to see ourselves as whole and complete in every moment. 
There is no need to elevate one aspect of ourselves over another because fundamentally there is no separation. Our fixation on a higher self can paradoxically strengthen the illusion of a lower self that needs to be conquered or controlled. Living with passion and purpose then involves recognizing and integrating all aspects of ourselves, the spiritual and the mundane, the light and the dark. It is about embracing our humanity without judgment or division, understanding that our imperfections are as much a part of our journey as our aspirations for growth and enlightenment. The analogy of life is a dance. In a dance, each movement, whether graceful or awkward, is an expression of the whole. Similarly, every experience we encounter, every emotion we feel, contributes to the richness of our existence. There is no need to resist or suppress any part of ourselves. Instead, we can learn to flow with the rhythms of life, embracing both the challenges and the joys they bring. In our quest to understand living with passion and purpose, Zen philosophy offers profound insights into the nature of duality and non-duality. Unlike many spiritual traditions that emphasize a split between a higher self and lower self, Zen invites us to transcend such distinctions and perceive reality as undivided and whole. Perspective with clarity. Drawing upon Zen teachings to challenge our conventional understanding of self and existence. In Zen, the concept of duality where there is a separate higher spiritual self and a lower mundane self is considered a misunderstanding of reality. Instead, Zen teaches us that there is only the self unbounded and interconnected with all aspects of existence. The illusion of duality arises when we perceive ourselves as separate from the world around us. We create mental divisions between good and bad, spiritual and material, that perpetuate a sense of inner conflict and fragmentation. Watts encourages us to see beyond these divisions and recognize the fundamental unity underlying all phenomena. Living with passion and purpose, according to Zen wisdom, entails embracing this unity and harmonizing with the flow of life. It is not about striving to elevate one aspect of ourselves over another but about integrating our spiritual aspirations with our everyday experiences. When we cease to resist or reject any part of ourselves, we discover a profound sense of wholeness and authenticity. Simple yet profound analogies to illustrate this point. He likened life to a dance where each movement, whether joyful or sorrowful, is an expression of the whole. In this dance of existence, there is no need for judgment or division. Every moment becomes an opportunity for self-expression and self-realization. By embracing non-duality, we transcend the need to control or manipulate our lives according to rigid ideals. We learn to flow with the natural rhythms of existence, responding authentically to each moment as it unfolds. This approach fosters a deep sense of peace and inner freedom as we release the burden of trying to conform to external expectations or internalized beliefs. The exploration of living with passion and purpose through the lens of Zen wisdom to embody authenticity and harmony in every aspect of our lives. Central to this journey is the recognition of our interconnectedness with all existence and the liberation from the illusion of duality Zen philosophy teaches us that authenticity arises when we embrace our true nature without reservation or judgment. This means accepting ourselves fully our strengths, weaknesses, desires, and fears as integral parts of the human experience. Alan Watts often emphasized the importance of authenticity as a cornerstone of living passionately and purposefully. When we align our actions with our deepest values and aspirations, we naturally cultivate a sense of fulfillment and meaning in life. Harmony, according to Zen teachings, is achieved through the integration of mind, body, and spirit. It involves cultivating inner peace and balance, regardless of external circumstances, to explore how we can harmonize with the flow of life, responding to challenges with equanimity and grace. 
This harmony is not about suppressing emotions or avoiding difficulties, but about embracing them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. In the context of living with passion and purpose, harmony also extends to our relationships with others and the world around us. Zen encourages us to cultivate compassion, empathy, and kindness towards all beings, recognizing their inherent interconnectedness with ourselves. When we approach life from a place of harmony, we contribute positively to the collective well-being and create ripple effects of peace and understanding. To illustrate these concepts vividly, he likened life to music, where each individual is a unique note contributing to the symphony of existence. In this metaphor, authenticity is expressed through the genuine resonance of each note, while harmony arises from the orchestration of diverse melodies into a cohesive whole. Zen teachings emphasize the practice of mindfulness as a pathway to authenticity and harmony. By cultivating present moment awareness, we become attuned to our inner thoughts, emotions, and sensations. This mindfulness allows us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and presence, reducing reactivity and fostering wise decision-making. In our exploration of living with passion and purpose through the lens of Zen wisdom, the transformative power of presence and self-discovery, Central to this journey is the practice of mindfulness, a cornerstone of Zen philosophy, and the exploration of our true nature beyond conditioned beliefs and dualistic perceptions. Mindfulness, as taught in Zen, is the practice of cultivating present moment awareness without judgment. It involves being fully attentive to our thoughts, emotions, sensations, and surroundings with a sense of openness and curiosity. The importance of mindfulness as a pathway to living authentically and passionately. When we are fully present in each moment, we can respond to life's challenges and opportunities with clarity and wisdom. Self-discovery, according to Zen teachings, involves uncovering our true nature beyond the layers of conditioning and egoic identification. It encourages us to inquire into who we are beyond our roles, labels, and social identities. This inquiry is not about seeking answers or achieving a fixed state of enlightenment, but about embracing the process of continuous exploration and self-awareness. Living with passion and purpose requires us to cultivate a deep connection with ourselves, to listen to the inner stirrings of our heart and intuition. This inner listening allows us to align our actions with our deepest values and aspirations, guiding us towards a life of authenticity and fulfillment. Metaphorical language to illustrate these concepts vividly. He likened the journey of self-discovery to peeling away layers of an onion, revealing deeper truths and insights with each layer removed. In this metaphor, mindfulness acts as the tool for gently and attentively uncovering our innate wisdom and clarity. The importance of letting go of attachments and clinging to fixed ideas about ourselves and the world. When we release the grip of egoic desires and expectations, we create space for new possibilities and growth to unfold naturally. This process of letting go fosters resilience and inner peace, allowing us to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and equanimity. In our journey through life, we often encounter the human tendency towards Euclidean order. Streets stretch out in straight lines, buildings rise in geometric precision, and our minds too crave categorization and structure. Yet, amidst this human-made order, we find that the Earth itself is fundamentally wiggly, a phenomenon of curves, waves, and undulations that defy the straight lines we impose upon it. Consider the snake, that great symbol of wiggliness and vitality, it moves with grace and fluidity, embodying the essence of adaptation to its environment. The snake does not seek the shortest distance between two points in rigid lines instead. It flows with the contours of the land, 
weaving through obstacles with ease. This natural agility and acceptance of wiggliness are what allow the snake to thrive. Wiggliness can be unsettling to some. It represents the unknown, the unpredictable, the very qualities that challenge our desire for control and certainty. We are creatures of habit, seeking security in patterns and routines. The idea of embracing life's wiggliness can be daunting because it requires us to let go of rigid expectations and open ourselves to the unexpected. It is the dance of existence itself. Life, like a river, does not flow in straight lines. It meanders, it curves, it bends around obstacles, creating intricate patterns that reflect the complexity of the world around us. To embrace wiggliness is to embrace life's inherent spontaneity and adaptability to see the beauty in its curves and waves rather than trying to straighten them out. We must not forget the joy of wiggliness, the freedom it offers to explore new paths, to discover unexpected connections, and to grow beyond our limitations. Just as the snake navigates its environment with fluidity, so too can we navigate our lives with grace and openness. Embracing wiggliness allows us to move beyond the confines of rigid thinking and embrace the full spectrum of human experience. In the tapestry of human existence, we often find ourselves divided between the straights and squares and those who embrace life's wiggliness. The straights, driven by a need for order and predictability, seek to impose rigid structures upon the world. They lay down straight roads, build square buildings, and compartmentalize life into neat categories. To them, the straight line represents efficiency, the shortest distance between two points of path that promises clarity and control. But life, my friends, is not meant to be boxed in. It flows, it adapts, it swings. Consider the contrast between a bustling city and a serene garden. The city, with its grid-like streets and towering structures, symbolizes human imposition upon the landscape a testament to our desire to shape and control our surroundings. It represents order and functionality, but it often comes at the cost of natural beauty and spontaneity. In contrast, a garden of paradise is a celebration of life's natural rhythms and beauty. It's a place where wiggliness is honored, where flowers bloom freely and vines twist and turn without constraint. Here in the garden, we see the true essence of life's spontaneity and vitality, the very qualities that the straights and squares often overlook in their quest for order. The garden teaches us a valuable lesson that true beauty lies in embracing life's wiggliness. It invites us to let go of rigid expectations and open ourselves to the unpredictable joys of existence. Just as the plants in the garden bend towards the sun and wind, so too can we bend and adapt to the ever-changing currents of life. To live with passion and purpose is to find harmony in the swings of life, to dance with the rhythms of nature and to celebrate the diversity and richness of human experience. It's about recognizing that the rigid structures we impose upon ourselves and our world can limit our growth and creativity. By embracing wiggliness, we open ourselves to new possibilities, new connections, and new ways of being. The path of the straights and squares may offer a sense of security and stability, but it often comes at the expense of spontaneity and genuine connection. In their pursuit of order, they may overlook the deeper joys and meaning that come from embracing life's natural flow. We navigate our journey through life let us remember the wisdom of the garden, the wisdom of wiggliness. Let us cultivate a mindset that celebrates spontaneity, creativity, and adaptability. Let us learn to appreciate the beauty of curves and twists and to find joy in the unexpected turns of our path. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the vibrant tapestry of existence itself. For life, my friends, is not meant to be lived in straight lines. It is meant to be danced, to be celebrated, and to be embraced with passion and purpose. 
In our quest for passion and purpose, we are often drawn towards solidity and stability of firm ground upon which to stand. But what if, instead of standing, we learn to swim? What if we embrace the fluidity of life, allowing ourselves to glide with grace and adapt to the ever-changing currents? The water gently carries you downstream, its currents shifting and swirling around you. Do you fight against the flow, or do you trust in its gentle guidance? This metaphor of swimming in life's river reflects the essence of finding harmony in fluidity. To live with passion and purpose is to embrace the art of faith, the trust in life's unfolding. It's about letting go of the need to control every outcome and instead surrendering to the natural rhythm of existence. Just as a skilled sailor navigates the open sea, so too can we navigate our lives with grace and confidence trusting in the currents of opportunity and challenge. The art of faith invites us to cultivate a mindset of openness and adaptability. It encourages us to release our grip on rigid expectations and to embrace the beauty of uncertainty. Life, after all, is a dynamic dance of possibilities, a symphony of moments that ebb and flow with the tides of time. Think of the bird gliding effortlessly on the wind soaring through the sky with ease and grace. It does not cling to the air, but trusts in its ability to carry it to new heights. Similarly, in our own lives, we can learn to trust in the flow of events, allowing ourselves to be carried towards new opportunities and experiences. In our exploration of living with passion and purpose, we delve into the transformative power of coherence, the alignment of our thoughts, emotions, and intentions with the natural flow of life. Imagine, if you will, the symphony orchestra where each musician plays in perfect harmony, creating a masterpiece of sound that resonates deeply within you. Similarly, coherence in our lives allows us to synchronize with the quantum field, a realm of infinite potential and possibility. The quantum field, as described by pioneers like Dr. Joe Dispenza is not bound by the limitations of time and space. It is a field of energy where thoughts, emotions, and intentions create ripples that shape our reality. When we align ourselves with this field through coherence by cultivating clear intentions, elevated emotions, and a deep sense of purpose, we open ourselves to the magic of manifestation and synchronicity. But how do we achieve coherence in our daily lives? It begins with self-awareness and mindfulness being present in each moment and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. By becoming conscious of our inner dialogue and beliefs, we can begin to reshape our reality from the inside out. Let us consider the power of intention. Intention is like a guiding star. It sets the course for our journey and directs our energy towards specific outcomes. When we define our intentions clearly and passionately, we create a focal point for manifestation, a beacon of light that attracts corresponding energies and opportunities into our lives. Intentionality is not just about setting goals, it's about embodying the qualities and emotions associated with our desires. If we seek abundance, for instance, we must cultivate feelings of gratitude and abundance within ourselves. This emotional resonance sends a powerful signal to the quantum field, aligning us with experiences that mirror our inner state. Elevated emotions such as love, joy, and gratitude amplify the vibrational frequency of our intentions. They create coherence between our heart and mind a state where our thoughts and feelings are in alignment, creating a potent force for transformation. Studies have shown that coherence in the heart-brain connection enhances our physiological well-being, boosts immune function, and fosters resilience in the face of challenges. Doctor, Joe Dispenza's work highlights the neurological and biological changes that occur when we enter states of coherence through meditation and visualization. By quieting the mind and entering a state of heart-centered awareness, we activate the body's innate healing mechanisms and align ourselves with the quantum field's limitless potential. 
Belief acts as a bridge between intention and manifestation. It shapes our perception of reality and influences how we interact with the world around us. When we believe in the possibility of miracles and unexpected blessings, we invite these experiences into our lives with open arms. 